Oh, hi. I'm not ignoring you. Don't worry. We're going to talk about you in a second. Did you kill him, camera? <laughs> <laughs> NDI PTZ cameras are everywhere. Almost every manufacturer has joined the show and is producing a camera that has NDI built right into it. But this wasn't always the case. Newtech needed to build a codec specifically for the embedded camera market since camera-based processing typically isn't powerful enough to support the full NDI codec. So not long after NDI came on the scene in 2016, Newtech introduced NDI HX about a year later. It's a codec specifically built for the processing chips found in today's PTZ cameras. Newtech also introduced PTZ control to the NDIHX stream, so you could not only see the camera feed, but remotely control it as well. In 2019, NDIHX2 was released, which boasted better compression, lower latency, and this codec made it to most of the existing cameras on the market that year. Newtech has now introduced NDIHX three, which moves the HX needle ever closer to its full NDI older sibling. Better compression, even lower latency are to be expected from this new NDI variant. To separate it from its predecessors HX1 and HX2, they dubbed it NDI HX Ultra. <laughs> but to see that, you'd need the camera. HX Ultra. <laughs> is not the only feature to make this camera different. Newtech added soft starts and stops to the camera movement to make the camera even more useful during production. But before we go into all that, let's call this camera out by the numbers. This is a 1080p camera with a 20x zoom and a 2x digital zoom. Now the digital zoom is a first for a new tech camera and should be used sparingly, but it does allow you to get up and close when needed. Now the camera is PoE powered or can be used with the included power supply. It has both SDI and HDMI outputs as well as serial control for you old schoolers who still like to run a lot of cables. Okay, now the biggest change is in the form of this mini XLR on the back panel of the camera. Now there's still the three and a half line input, you know, that three and a half millimeter input, but the inclusion of a mini XLR allows users to rethink how they treat audio in their NDI workflows. Imagine sending a PTZ3 camera down to the CEO's office, and rather than also needing to send a full soundboard to deal with audio, you only need to plug in your mic with this included adapter, and the audio will be embedded into the NDI stream in sync to its final destination. Now, if only there was a way to pull that audio off and mix it separately, but that was a different episode. With Nutex PTZ3, they've added a soft start and stop feature they call smooth movement. The camera speed ramps up into a preset move and then ramps back down into the finish of that preset position so that for once the actual move can be used during live production. No speed cam footage here, no camera whipping about wildly while on air, just smooth movement. The reason to buy Nutex PTZ3 camera are really black and white. Uh, well, I mean, the new colors they come in are black and white. Uh, the new audio inputs, the HX3 codec and smooth movements should be the real reason though to grab these cameras and place them in your next design. So if you're interested in purchasing one or two or many of these new cameras, call us. We're experts in everything video and we'd be happy to help.